gang, today I thought I'd show you this power rock ballad lick uh, that I just played and to show you how to create your own as well. Uh, things that are melodic but they have a little bit of an edge to them as well. Um, I also want to say to a couple of people, a number of people have requested melodic rock soloing. I have a video on that coming up, uh, a longer video on that coming up. So this is not it, although it may contain some elements of that. Uh, that is coming up. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, we'll go through the, uh, the solo note for note, or the, the little lick note for note, and uh, show you how to create your own. Hey, and if you like this game, click the like button. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe to get one of these every week. Let's see in just a second. All right, gang, let's go over this note for note. First things first, download the tab from the link in the description below. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Second thing on the sound, uh, I'm playing Les Paul. Obviously, I'm playing out of the bridge position. Volume on 10, decent amount of gain, so you get that nice sustain. And uh, however you want to do that, it's up to you, but uh, you want that sustained sound, big sort of sound. All right, now the, the uh, chord progression we're playing over, very simple one. Um, we're going to play a D. Uh, well, here it is, D to A, then G to D. And then we're going to do the same thing, but the last time we're going to linger on that G. All right. And this lick takes you one time through that whole progression. All right. So here's the lick uh, itself. Um, let's play the. Let's do it line by line. So we're going to start out. Actually, I should say one thing before we start the lick itself. There's basically two things that we're going to play out of. One is the uh, the D major, or you can think of it if you want to as D major pentatonic scale. Um, the easiest one to think about is this one right up here on the. If you think of the tenth fret, first string, seventh fret, first string. It's this box position, right? The one that we're all familiar with. A lot of the licks are out of that. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. And then the second will be the extended blues scale, So we're also in D. So all of this is in D, so we're going to play a D major pentatonic and a D blues, basically. Um, D blues for the last part of the lick, as we will see. All right, so let's get to the lick itself. So it starts out like the, with this line. Uh, all right. So uh, the first line's pretty straightforward. We have a couple of pickup notes. And then we're going to play that D to start out on that D chord, first beat. All right, so the, the pickup notes are these. And that's just pretty straightforward, kind of common lick. On a ninth fret, third string, we're going to bend up. Oh, I don't know, maybe a half uh, and pull it back down, uh, pull off to the seventh, and then play a full step bend on that ninth and pull back off on the seventh and give it lots of vibrato, like so. Okay, next we're going to play ninth to the eleventh. Now I could play another bend, but this time I do a slide up to the eleventh and uh, play this. Okay, so we're going to slide from the 9th up to the 11th on the 3rd string, play the 10th on the 2nd string, 9th back on the 3rd string, and give it lots of vibrato. And that leads us to the second line, which is this. Okay, now watch the timing. You want this bend to be kind of dramatic. Okay, we're going to go to the 2nd string, 10th fret, bend that up a whole step, and slowly bring it down. Now, if you know the rake technique of, of bending a string as well, you might want to try that one. That's kind of your, your deadening, say, strings four and three, and when, so you can get that harder hit on the, third, on the second string. If you can't do that, that's okay too, but if you, if you want to, that's a great place to do that. Okay, so we're going to bend that up and slowly bring it down. And then we, when we get back down to the tenth, we're going to play ten, nine, eight skip a string, go to the 4th, and play the ninth on the 4th on the fourth string. And then 7, 9, 7 on the 3rd. Alright, here's that whole lick, or here's that whole line. Hey, 
Here's the last part of that. We're going to bend up on the tenth, full step bend again. And then come back down to the tenth, hit it really hard and give it some vibrato. Now we're going to go all the way up to the fifteenth and do the same thing. Whole step bend on the fifteenth and then the fifteenth itself giving it lots of vibrato. Now so far we've played everything in the D major pentatonic. But now we're going to switch to the blues scale. Okay, And now this is an extended position for the blues scale. If you don't know it, you can look at one of my minor pentatonic uh, videos um, that I've posted before. And you can, you can get the, uh, the fingerings up there. But well, let's just do the fingering for the lick. Okay, Now we're going to bend on the 15th a whole step. All right, so that is, um, we're bending up a 15th a whole step, bringing it down to the 15th. It's on the first string. Playing the 13th, then the 15th again. 17th, 13th, and 15th on the second, giving it lots of vibrato. That's a nice little bluesy edge there. So again, here's what that lick is. Now you want to play that very hard and give that last one on the 15th, second, second string, lots of vibrato. Okay, it ends with this little line as we're tailing off. Very, uh, very bluesy sound as well. Uh, and that is on the second string we're playing 15, 13. Then on the third string we're playing 14, 13, 12. And then on the fourth string we're playing 15, bending it up just about a quarter step. And then playing the 12th and giving it lots of eyebrow, the 12th on the fourth string. That's where we're ending up. And that's kind of as it's trailing off. All right, now let's play the whole thing slowly. Here we go. That's how the whole thing sounds put together. Now what's interesting, I think, is that if you listen to some lines, a good example of this is Neil Sean's um, Light Solo, um, a song that also happens to be in D. This seems to be a good key for power ballads. In any event, most of what he plays is in the major pentatonic, but there's a line or two where he plays out of the, um, actually it's almost that same line. <laughs> Um, where he plays out of the blues scale. And what's nice about that is by playing the blues scale or playing a lick out of the blues scale, you can get kind of dramatic or add a little bit of an edge to the solo that wouldn't normally be there if you were just using that major pentatonic. So try that. Try playing a power ballad seems to usually like that major scale or major pentatonic, but then you can shift over and play the blues scale for an extra lick or two. Well, there you have it. Power rock ballad lick that uh, you can play and uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty effective and hopefully you can create your own that are even more effective than that. Alright, see you on down the road.